I've had a few virtual assistants over the years. For the first couple, I spent about 10 hours training them with highly technical skills. That got old really quickly because they were like, how do I do step three again? So for my latest virtual assistant, I recorded a step-by-step -step video tutorial series. That saved both of us a lot of time, and I'll continue to have those videos for future virtual assistants. I used Komodo Dex to record these videos, and this entire video is recorded on Komodo Dex. They're the sponsor of this video, but everything I say in this video are my honest thoughts. Today, we're having a look at the Komodo Cloud Editor. There are two ways to access Komodo's video editor. The first is when you finish recording videos like this one. After you record, you'll get the option to click Save and Edit Video. The second way is when you click the Recordings tab on the top left. From here, find the video that you want to edit. Say this one. You find the three dots over here, then click Edit. Welcome to the Cloud Editor. This is a robust tool. The first thing you might notice is how AI has already transcribed the entire video, and you can see it on the video timeline down here. You can view the full transcript by clicking the transcript button to the left menu. Whoa, look at that. Just by clicking a word, we end up in that section of the video. Say, so I play this. Once you have your title and thumbnail, the first, then I'll click the word sum. Some might say it's the first 30 seconds. I that is super smooth. And here's one of my favorite features. One click pause removal. Just click remove pauses right here and bam. In a split second, all of the significant pauses were cut out. You can even see how the transcript has transformed over here. Let's say I click this part. You want to make sure your title and thumbnail spark curiosity, have contrast, are very clear. Once you have your title and thumbnail, the first thing you want to do in your video is create your hook. Your hook. So people have now clicked your thumbnail, but you want to make sure that they <laughs> stick around to finish the rest. That was, in fact, one click. And just look at how these line breaks in the transcript mark where the pauses used to be. So one click silence removal makes your video more concise. And the line breaks in the transcript really help me find which my best takes are. Notice how I repeat this phrase in the transcript about four times. Because it's usually the last take that I actually get to use. I can just select all the bad takes like so, backspace, and play the video. Yo. Some might say it's the first eight seconds. I that is a massive time saver. Now let's say someone started hammering in the background, a dog barked or a baby cried, and you want to mute that section of the video. Click on the select range button, highlight the range you want to mute, right click and toggle mute, and notice how the waveform disappears. Here. Well, the first thing you in that muted section is now a line break in the transcript. Let's say you want to fix your mistakes instead of muting them. Click on select range, then select the words you want to fix. And bam, it highlights them in the timeline. Now I can right click this and click re-record audio. Ooh, let's play this for a sec. Such as asking, let's record over that. Such as asking your viewers to like and subscribe. Didn't like that take, I'm gonna click stop. Now you see there's a new timeline just for that correction. Such as asking your viewers to like and subscribe. Didn't like that take. So I didn't quite get to fix it, but thankfully there's a reset button for infinite retakes. Do this again, such as asking your viewers to like and subscribe. I like that. Click stop. So in this new timeline, I do have a couple of mistakes, such as asking your... Bah. Didn't like that. So I'm going to trim the timeline to isolate the correct take like so. There. Let me play that. Such as asking your viewers to like and subscribe. Click save such as asking your viewers to like and subscribe. And there's the new audio. Now, if you want to remove audio, just click on select range as usual. You can highlight the transcript or the timeline, right click and click delete. And if you want to add a few words to a video, just right click anywhere on the video timeline and click insert audio. I'm adding new words right here. Click stop. And just like with the audio replacement tool, you get this trimmer. Click save. And it added that section to the transcript. Now, if you want to do a more substantial edit, just right click anywhere on the timeline and click trim. Now you can be very specific with how you trim this video. And let's just say I want to cut it down to the first five seconds. I can even use timestamps for that. Click save. And that segment has now been trimmed. Now let's say you want to reorder segments of the video. I'm gonna look for a long section of the transcript here. So right about here, I'm just gonna click on split. And bam, you have a new line break. If you want, you can just continue splitting those sections and repeat the process to have more and more clips. And if I want to move them around, make sure you don't have select range selected. Then you can drag these clips and bring them to anywhere in the timeline. But one of my favorite features of all is merging videos. Let's go to add on the top left menu and you can see the library right here. And here's a random video that I recorded. Let's click on plus. 
and bam, there's a new video with a second track, and right here it's been added to the transcript. So let's play this. Some might- <sighs> I just want to record quality videos. A great use case for this is when you want to record SOPs but don't want to lose your personal touch. And of course, you can upload new content. Just click on Browse Files, find a file, and it uploads. Let's give it a few more seconds. And now we have our new video. Now this feature is a lifesaver. Version history gives you access to all the edits that you've done in the video and you can just click on restore to this version to go back to that. And when you're done editing, just click on the publish button on the top right corner and you'll see this pop-up window with these additional settings. You can give it a name, allow attachments, allow feedback. You can even set the default playback rate. You can set the link to expire, and you can even set a password. To share the video, just click on copy link. You can share just the recording or the recording plus the guide, which is another Komodo Dex feature. And if you want to embed this video, just go back to your recordings tab, click on the three dots, then click on embed item. Click copy code, and you can now embed this on your website. When recording each... And as you can see here, viewers can enable closed captions. Just note that as of November 2023, Komodo's video editor is still in its beta stage. If you can't already tell, I think the cloud editor is a welcome addition to the already incredible features that Komodo Dex had in my first review from 11 months ago. Don't forget to use the code DAVE30 on the checkout page to get 30% off of your first year of any Komodo Dex plan. I'll see you guys next time.